So Snakey, with the, the tour so far in Canada, what have your thoughts and feelings been with it? It's been a while since you guys have been here, and how's it been feeling so far? Uh, you know, Canada's mad cool, man. They show mad love, we show them mad love. I, I've been in Canada for a fucking long time. Like, uh, you know, I lived in Toronto for like six months doing this TV show called Platinum. I lived in Vancouver for like six months doing a TV show called Blade. So, you know, I'm real familiar with Canada. I got a lot of peoples out here, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's, you know, well, my dude was like, damn, how, how long has it been since you've been back? It's been a minute, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, Canada's popping. Now, my, my favorite cities are Vancouver and Toronto, you know what I'm saying? But we've been doing like a couple of, uh, but uh, uh, what's the other city? Uh, 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 MTL, what's that? What's that? What's that? Montreal? Montreal. Montreal is popping too. I love that shit. You know I mean? but we, we've been to a couple of other cities that I've never been to before, like Winnipeg and motherfucking. Well, I've been to Edmonton before. We've been there. We did a video there. And, uh, well, they, what, Thunder what, Bay, okay? We did, did a Tuesday show at Thunder Bay. And, and it was cool, though. I thought it was going to be like whack. But it was, you know, it was what a video, cool. what song did you do the video for? Uh, we did a video with my dude uh, Cash out in uh, Edmonton. My, my nigga uh, Big Shot and shit, you know what I'm saying? Did a video with Cash? You know Cash? Yeah. Black girl? Nah, nah, not that bitch. Black girl. So you guys uh, supporting a new album coming out, or while well, you guys are in the process of recording? Album. It's called Cuzzo. It's just me and Fredro. Yeah, we cousins, so it's just called Cuzzo. It's, you know what? Really like a like a grimy street album. We're giving the fans exactly the, the true Onyx fans exactly what they want. But then you know we have a more like uh, I don't want to say commercial and shit. That shit really ain't commercial. Even though we got like a, a lot of big concept songs and shit, the Black Rock album is just for wider audiences. Not wider, wider. But you guys have always been kind of like a, a DIY, like do-it-yourself type band. Like have always been supporting like mixtapes and uh, well, even on. I, I, not mixtapes. Well, like you're. I, I put out one mixtape my whole entire life. I don't really believe in mixtapes. But um, but even like even on your first album, you know, bitch ass bootleggers get shot. You guys have always right, been right, kind right, of. Well, listen, you cannot stop the bootleg market. It's impossible. Especially with the internet now. Look, look, I'm a fucking downloader, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really mad at you dudes that be downloaded. It's whatever, bro. You know? As long as you get to see and hear the product, whatever. You know what I mean? Now, there's a lot of younger artists that are kind of looking up to, you know, people who have been in the rap game for a while. What would you, kind of advice would you give them? Quit. Don't do it. <laughs> rap shit is bullshit, son. You go back to school, you get, you get a real fucking job, make some consistent money, be like a fucking accountant or a lawyer or some shit, a bank robber, whatever the fuck, fuck rap. Alright, well, um, if you weren't a part of, you know, doing the rap thing and, you know, obviously in the entertainment business, being in movies and TV, what would your dream job be? Well, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be an assassin, a con man, or a lawyer. I guess they're all the same things, right? I don't know what I'd be doing. Because look, you gotta understand, like, I never like woke up and said, yo, I'm gonna be a fucking rapper. Like I used to rap back in the days, before I was in Ali, I was a solo artist. And I was nice, but I was just doing it because I was good at it. Like, you know, it wasn't like, I wasn't like looking for anything. Even acting, I, I didn't wake up and say, yo, I wanna be an actor. I just went to an overgrown audition one day for a Spike Lee movie, Clockers, and got the fucking part. And just kept doing it, it just fell in my lap and shit. Okay, well, my last question actually isn't really a question. It's yo, just, yo, yo! One last question. My last question isn't really a last question. It's just I just want to thank you for making consistently, you know, great music thank throughout you, the years, man. That. And yes, just sir. for coming around and still doing this. You know, a lot of people with the economy now just don't want to tour and I stuff. I apologize to a lot of the fans and shit because, like, you know, a lot of times, like, you know, life happens. And we, we do a movies or life happens and it, it'd be like a big gap in between albums and people like, oh... They like fell off the face of the fucking earth, but we still here, yeah, you know, we just doing it, just life happens and shit, you know what I mean? But we, we don't never lose our niceness. I still body in any Having fun any with these it. niggas out here, believe that. Freestyle, written, it don't matter. Niggas just saying ill to me as a person, so. Well, it's appreciated. Before I go, would you mind doing a, a throw? Because we're actually get, uh, doing a thing where it might be on Global TV, which is a network around here. That throw is a uh, spit, the show. And it, uh, if you want to do a spit, like this is uh, Sticky Fingers from Onyx, and you're watching, you know, Spit Global. Spit Global. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Sticky Fingers from the legendary Onyx, Major Independence. And you watching Spit Global.
watch you spit, you heard? Yeah.